Hi everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jen Jen and I hope everyone is doing well. We are going to do a whip and chat and that is um, stands for work in progress and I started a new diamond painting and um, only because my Scorpio is like confetti ridden. I mean there's just confetti. It's basically confetti hell. So, I started a new one from Home Find from AliExpress. This is an old painting. Um, one of the very first ones I ever ordered, uh, I think. It's been a while. I, I can't remember when I ordered this because I've tried to look in my, um, in my files to see and I didn't see where I ordered it. So, anyway, this is... I don't know what you want to call her, but I'm going to call her Cleopatra. And yes, there's a lot of 310. I looked, there is no, no 939. I looked um, when I was uh, kidding it up, there's no 939 whatsoever. So yeah, it's mostly black, uh, just the background. And um, yeah, there's a lot of black in here. This is how many bags. Oh, 310 there are believe me and then you have this that I um yeah 310 so mm -hmm, yeah living the 310 life so we're gonna get started I'm just going to go through what's been going on this week I do want to show you something that I did receive today um, I ordered this from cra um, crystals crafty creations Crystal, I know I probably got your channel name wrong. I'm sorry, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry, Crystal. You can hit me later. <laughs> it's a scissor fob, if you guys can see. Now, I this I left on because um, the the this little the latch or whatever would not fit around my scissors, but I put it on and left it there. But it's it's okay. It, it might not look right, but that's all right. But it's a purple butterfly. Isn't it cute? It is cute. I like it. So, Crystal, I will be sending you the money soon. I promise. Okay. So, that's what I got today. Um, so, we're just going to get started. I'm going to just tell you what's been going on around here in this lovely, lovely house. Oh, you would think. So, um, it's just been... Um, one of those days today I had um, been trying to record since after I finished work and I f every time I turn around there was something that uh, would uh, distract me so I said you know what I'm just gonna wait until tonight after the boys are you know in their rooms um, Miranda's not here so that you know not that because she, she doesn't bother anybody when um, I'm recording so but no the boys are doing their thing and we are going to where so I just said you know what I will wait until they're done now I know I'm going all over the place this is a round drill and um, the size you would ask I don't know I have it covered up <laughs> it is a I think it's a 50 by 70 I can't remember I had to put um, <clears throat> washi tape around because I'm gonna tell you guys it's been a really long time since I have worked on double-sided double-sided adhesive or tape or whatever you want to call it and yeah it's been interesting I forgot what it feels like to you where you know diamond paint on double-sided adhesive so this was one of the ones that I had that I have two more that ha are double-sided adhesive but this I just forgot what it feels like and no I have three more so it feels weird to do this after doing diamond art clubs for God knows how long <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, well no the sons of anarchy one 
is double sided and that one is not as sticky as the one from Home Fun. I'm thinking of going back to uh, Home Fun's shop and see if they have one of Sons of Anarchy, like what I was doing for uh, True Crime, and see if they have one so that um, I can, um, you know, I guess do a comparison. Because the store I got the the Sons of Anarchy one from is, I, I don't remember what it's called, and it's a name I cannot pronounce. So, and then I found out yesterday some stores on AliExpress do use port glue, so I, I don't know. I haven't ordered from AliExpress in a really long time. And when I said I was going to do this, I thought, I hope this isn't, you know, I hope I'm not, ki don't kick myself in the butt because it's been a while since I've done, you know, this. And it's a pain because when you're trying to play some, especially when I'm using the multiplacer, I'm finding that I'm having a hard time placing them just right on the double sided tape. But, it could be just me and it is what it is but that's okay because this is just gonna go hang in my bedroom once I get it uh, finished and I'm going to uh, you know spray it with sealant so that you know the drills don't go all crazy I haven't had any popping drills now I have have some that for some reason when I was laying them down weren't they didn't they weren't in other words I didn't get it you know I didn't get them all I didn't get it in the spot so it's not a big deal I mean they're not popping off or anything like that because if they were popping off I'd be um really really upset but um yeah I haven't had any that um have like come off so which is the good thing except for this one this one just came off because I picked it off by accident but that's okay because I'm gonna fix that right here so anyway uh, we're just gonna go on I, I'm just complaining and I don't mean to complain okay that was not my intention of doing my whip and chin <laughs> so well let's see this week has been pretty 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 good so far um, mm -hmm. Just still trying to stay inside because it is still hot here. It was hot as I don't know what today. And I'll just be glad when fall comes because I'm sorry. Uh, when you have the, the AC running all day long and your electric bill is a little high, yeah, you're ready for fall. I'm, I, of course, fall is my favorite time of the year anyway, but, uh, yeah, it's been, huh. and I hate this time. This is the, this is why, one reason why I really don't like, um, summer so much because of the simple fact of that, you know, my electric bill gets high because our heat, our electric is run by, I mean, our air our air conditioning is run by electric but our heat is gas is run by gas so it's you can see a big 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 difference in um, the electric bill every uh, between uh, what May to uh, September or whatever and then um, yeah it just it's like a drastic price range drop and that's 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 one reason why I'll be glad when it's time for fall because oh my god if I can, if this if this air just keeps running I'm just it's gonna drive me crazy but um now it cuts off as I say that see it, it knew I was getting frustrated but uh so we're uh we're ready. I think we're ready. I think little dude and I are ready for this um, new adventure with virtual school. It's different. 
I will tell you, I um, he still has, you know, a schedule. He still has to kind of go through the school with, you know, we get parent link phone calls every, you know, week and whatever, just telling us what's going on and so forth. And um, the only difference is because he's going to be home, he doesn't, you know, some of that stuff won't apply. And, you know, I told him that we were going to have to, uh, he was going to have to be up early in the morning. And he just kind of looks at me like, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. So, and I think it's going to be a little hard, you know, a little strange. So, we'll see. Um, the virtual, now, our school, our, our school system, the county school system, puts out a yearly school year calendar telling us all the holidays and everything. And when they, you know, when they have off. And there's a couple of days, you know, that I noticed that he will be still at school, but the kids that are going to school and be in person will not have to attend because, you know, it's online. His is online and theirs isn't. So it's, it, he doesn't know that. I haven't told him. I don't want him to freak out, but, um, I don't think he's going to really care just because, you know, it's, it's, um, it's only like, you know, two days out of the whole year, but, um, I think I'm going to have to go back and do this by single placing because, yeah, I'm having problems putting it right on the symbol and it's not, you guys can tell the difference up here. See how it's a little gappy? I've, I don't know what the deal is. I've, you know, it might be me. And I've used my straightener, my little straightener, see? And I might have to get my bigger straightener that's um, sitting over here in the thing. But, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> so, but, um, yeah, he's, he's ready. I just got to get him folders. And he has notebook paper. He has pencils. He has uh, a pen, a couple pens. So, we're ready. Now, next week, I have to go get his um, laptop from the school. And because he knows he can't use mine because I need it for work and so forth. But he knows that I can't, he can't use mine. And I told him, I said, you know, it's going to be a little, you know, harder. And I said, you can't sit back in my room at the desk that he was using back there because he'll be unsupervised. So, yeah. Um, I did want to real quick tell you all, you all will hear background noise. You will probably hear Justin. He's, um, I'm not sure what he's doing in there, but you will hear them. If that is a problem, you don't have to watch. I mean, you need to understand there will be background noise. I always have background noise. It doesn't matter who, what, it happens. Oh, uh, let's see. What else is going on? Um, okay. I must really, really be slow when it comes to uh, stuff because I didn't know this. I knew it existed, but Pluto TV. I, Pluto TV. I didn't know it existed. Well, I knew it existed, but... I didn't know we could watch it for free. The last time I saw Pluto TV, I had to pay for it. Or at least I thought I did. And um, so Sky come out, comes out the other day and tells me, Mom, and that one's not on there right. Oh, how did this not get put in there right? Sorry. I hope this... Don't get me wrong, they're not popping. I don't think it's... I just didn't get it in this. There we go. 
Who wants to shoot me now or later? Okay. Anyway, um, don't mind me. So, little dude comes out and he says, Mommy, guess what I'm watching? What are you watching? And I can't even remember the name of the show, to be truthful. And, and it was a show that used to be on when he was little. And, and it, it, it just doesn't come on anymore. It's not SpongeBob or anything like that. I can't even remember. He told me and I can't remember what it was. So I was like, how are you watching that? We don't, it's not, and I said, I know it's not on Hulu and I know it's not on Netflix. And I know it's not um, on um, Amazon Prime. And uh, he says, it's on Pluto. I was like, what? How are you watching that? I can watch it for free, Mom. You're kidding me, right? So he, you know, showed me. I went back there and looked. Out. Sure enough. So I came out here and downloaded the app onto my TV. Because my TV is a smart TV. Go figure, right? And um, so uh, I downloaded it on there. Sure enough. And he was showing me all these different things. And he comes out and he says, you know they got true crime on here, right? And I was like, oh, oh boy, you didn't. You shouldn't have never said anything. <laughs> so I've been watching true crime all, all for the last couple of weeks. And um, it's called, the, the show I've been watching is called The First 48, which I've been, I, I used to love watching it. I can watch it on um, investigation, uh, the investigation channel whatever it's called the ID channel whatever investigation discovery channel and um so you know I've been watching that well there I'm gonna tell you there's stuff on there I didn't even know was on there uh, there's like TV shows like MacGyver um, there's the nanny um, there's shows on there that I've watched when, yeah, there's shows I haven't seen in a while. And I was just like, you've made my day. Well, mind you, I watch, I also like to watch the news. So, I always make sure to get off and watch, you know, my local news and, you know, the then, you know, national news and whatever. But any other time I'm watching Pluto or watching Netflix, well, I was just like, oh, my gosh. And uh, he looks at me and he says, did I make your day? And I said, yes, you made my day. And uh, he, um, he was like, I know, because he's the one that was showing me where everything was. And um, I was like, oh, my gosh. They have live TV. And they also have on demand. And I told him, I said, do you have, of course, I didn't believe him when he said it was free. I was like, are you sure we don't have to pay for this? He says, mom, it's free. Okay. I'm not going to argue. So, yeah, I'm way, way behind on all that because, oh, my God. If I had known that you could watch, that I could watch this app. And this live stream app, I would have watched this a long time ago. I was like, I was like a kid in a candy store. Because, yeah, I was enjoying it. And, um, so, and now there are some episodes on the first 48 that I don't want, like to watch. And, it, or I don't find interesting or whatever. And I'll just put in my headphones and listen to a book. And, um, because I've been really trying to, you know, get caught up with reading because, as you know, I want to try something different on the channel. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Um, so, you know, but, and it has to do with, you know, talking about what I'm reading every, what, whatever. And I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. So, I've just been trying to prepare and stuff like that. And, um, Anyway, <coughs> geez, excuse me. <coughs> so.
So, but uh, yeah, so I'm I'm really into that now. I'm like, holy crap. I mean, they even have news channels on live TV, but they're not for here. Um, but that's okay because, you know, it's not, some of it, I think it's national news anyway, but I, I don't know if, you know, they cover the same thing. I haven't really, you know, tried to really look and see. So, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, I'm kind of into that now, too. I mean, I still watch Netflix, and I still watch Hulu, and I still watch Disney Plus, all those. But, yeah. Pluto? Mm-hmm. I'm happy now. So, anyway. Um, let's see. Let's see, 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 let's see what's been going. Um... Uh, oh, I've been organizing. I organized my bookshelf that sits over there. It's, you know, over here to my left. And I have all my books on it. And you guys see it when I do my Floss 2 video. It's, you know, sitting off to, you know, the left-hand side or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, all, I'm, not, I'm It's one of those days... I'm kind of all over the place because it's been <sighs> crazy. Anyway, so I organized my bookshelf. Now, I did not do this at a normal hour. There's a reason. Little dude has been having some problems sleeping. And I couldn't figure out what the problem was. I, you know, I thought something was wrong. I thought, you know, he's, at first, my first thought was, okay, how much sugar have you had? And I've been very, very careful with him. I mean, granted, he loves to eat sugar just as much as everybody else, but he's, his dad's bulls and rotten with candy, which is, which is fine. And I've, you know, he and, matter of fact, the other day he brought it over here and I told him, I said, really he said what's wrong and I said yeah. I said look I said I'm not mad I, I you know I'm glad that you you know want to do this kind of thing for him I said but can you not bring so much candy and he was like why and I said because he's having problems sleeping and I said I don't know if it's the candy and he was like oh why is he having problems I said I don't know I said one night, the other night, I don't even remember what night it was now to be truthful, but um, he was in his bed and Justin came in and looked at me. He says, Mom, I think there's something wrong. And I said, what? And he says, little dude is, um, and by that time, here comes little dude. And he says, I can't sleep. And I said, okay. Well, he came and lay down with me because, you know, I told him, I said, well, why don't you lay down here and, you know, see what happens. So, and I was watching something on TV in my room. So, you know, he laid there and I fell asleep. At, and when I woke up again, the TV was off. And I thought, okay, he went to sleep. No. No come to find out uh, before the TV was turned off because I fell asleep but he couldn't go to sleep and he ended up going into Miranda's room and you know told her I can't sleep this is 2 o'clock in the morning now I don't have any melatonin I need to get some so yeah no, I can't do anything until I get paid next month but that's okay and, uh, cause I'm broke, as always. Um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Blah, 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 blah. So, anyway, I, uh, I didn't know that he hadn't gone to sleep until after two. I thought he went to bed. And so, Miranda told me the next morning, she's like, yeah, he was almost, uh, he was upset because he couldn't sleep and he didn't want you to get mad. 
And I said, I'm not mad. I said, I'm just, you know, kind of worried that, you know, he's having problems. I said, it just, you know, it's, I just, I don't know what to do for him. And um, there's really not anything I can do. You know, I can't give him any melatonin. I can't um, do anything. The only thing I can do is give him Benadryl because, and I do give him Benadryl anyway because at night his eczema is bothering him so much on his arms that he scratches in his sleep. And I give him Benadryl before he goes to bed. So he, uh, He finally, you know, has gotten to the point where he's, you know, trying to go back to bed. But then again, on that, on the, the other hand, the other hand, the way he talks to me about this is, I think, how do I explain this? Um, he asks me, Mom, what do I do if I can't sleep tonight? And this is like at, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night when he's trying to go to bed. And I think when he says those things, I think he's, you know, kind of saying to his body, we can't go to sleep. Or, you know, I, I don't know. And I told him, I said, you need to stop that. And he's like, what? I said, you need to stop because it's it's going to make your brain is going to tell your body to stay awake and uh so yeah we've been we've been having this issue for the past like week last night he was a little better and um he did want to try to sleep in uh his room and then um, he didn't he ended up sleeping in his sister's room for a little bit and then next thing I know he uh, comes in and wakes me up at like four o'clock in the morning and he's like mom I can't go back to sleep <laughs> really and um, he laid down yeah so mm -hmm. so it's uh, it's been interesting. It's been uh, kind of stressful. I did tell him he had to start trying to go to bed early or basically start going to bed early because of a simple fact that school starts in three weeks here and, you know, he's got to get up earlier than he normally would because he's got to get up, get his breakfast, and get dressed because he has school at whatever time, 7.30, you know, 7.30, 7.45, he just looks at me, are you kidding me? Nope, not kidding. You got to get up. There's no two, you know, there's no, you know, ifs, ands, or buts about it. And he's like, okay, I don't want, and of course, when I told him that, you know, middle school, he has um, end of the year exams that are where he learns everything he looks at me and he's like really ew I don't want those I'm like well sorry can't help you with that you got to deal with it so he's not happy he's yeah but um I think he's ready he's kind of excited so we'll see uh but um yeah, that's what I was doing, was organizing my bookshelf. So, because there was one night that he couldn't sleep, and then I couldn't sleep, so I ended up staying up and organizing my bookshelf. And um, trying to organize a little around this area, because <sighs> I feel like, and I'm just going to be honest, I just feel like, I don't know how to put this. I don't. I don't want people to think that. Um, you know. I feel like 
I, how do I put this? I feel like I don't have enough stash or have, you know, I, I, I feel like I don't have any stash like a lot of other people do because, you know, I can't afford it, number two. And number three, just because I, you know, I, I don't know. It's just me. Like I said, I always get like this sometimes, so just don't pay me no mind. But, um, so I was organizing what little stuff I had around here, and I, you know, it's always a goal to have, you know, all your stash and stuff. So I'm trying to organize and trying to, you know, keep trying to, um, whoops, get in there, trying to find, um, you know, space for everything. Now, I don't have a whole lot of diamond paintings. I, I'll be honest there. And I, do, you know, but, you know, it's all, it's fine. But, um, <laughs> I was looking at, you know, I was going through all my stuff. Because my, I'm, like I said, my stuff is thrown out everywhere. I have craft stuff out here in my, you know, workspace, my office area, slash, you know, crafting corner, or whatever you want to call it. And, I have no diamond paintings out here except for Scorpio and Nefertiti and this one. So, um, anyway, I was, uh, <laughs> I was sitting here and I was going through everything, looking at all my stuff and, um, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I really don't have a whole lot, but it's all strode out everywhere. I mean, it's everywhere, guys. It's all over. I have some in my bedroom. I have, you know, this cross-stitch stuff, which is over in my, um, over by my recliner. And, of course, you know, then I have my happy planning stuff. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm like, what else can I do? You know, I even have crochet stuff. And I'm going to be honest, that crochet stuff is sitting in a closet. I totally forgot that it was there. I know, right? How, how could I forget? Don't ask. I don't know. I have no clue how I could forget that that stuff is there. Okay, where is my six-placer? I had a six-placer up here, and it's gone. Okay, well, guess what? I don't know where it's at. I really, truly don't. It was sitting in this tray, and... Okay, then. So, I'm telling you, things are disappearing around my house. Um, so, yeah, so I've been doing that. I, um still haven't I, I keep saying I got to do my um, square drills and they're sitting under my drafting table I still haven't done deadly squat for that I have done something to my back I don't know what and it's bothering me so I'm kind of taking it easy because it hurts like the Dickens and it doesn't feel well I just it just hurts and like now I'm in pain. Don't ask me why. I don't know what I did. I have no idea. I am, um, um, I don't know if it's because, you know, I sit in my chair, in my office chair, a really, really long time. And I, I really need to get, um, you know, the computer chairs, the gaming computer chairs that everybody uses because, I've been told they're very more they're more comfortable than the um, than the computer chairs, and it hurt. They hurt. It hurts. I'm gonna tell you, it does not feel very good right now. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. And anyhow, it's just what happens when you get old. So I. Uh, going to be working on getting a lot of things done around here I um I keep putting it off not because I want to 
uh, you know, organizing the drills and everything. I have been really, really training really hard on this with my with my job, and uh, let me tell you something. I, uh, not that I, you know, I don't hate it. There is just a lot of information, and I'm sorry, I, I can't do multiplays for some reason today. So we're just gonna do one at a time today. Um, don't get me wrong, I like it. But there's a lot of information for, um, you know, life insurance, for health insurance. And it's, I was completely, totally uh, awestruck, I guess is what I want, the word I want to use. I don't know what the word I want to use. I was completely, you know, shocked at how much information there is for everything like group life insurance group health insurance group you know there's a I mean they even have a group accident and death thing and I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking what in the world and you know and but the thing is and I, I noticed this when I was um I guess when I was training, there are a lot of people that specialize in certain aspects of this. And, you know, you don't have, to, basically, we don't have to specialize in one thing. And, or, you know, we can do one thing, whatever. And uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is just a lot, you know, and God bless it. I, like, I was just, okay, am I going to, and, and, you know, and the good thing, the, the good thing is I take notes. I write down everything I think I need to know. So I don't feel so, you know, out, stu well, not stupid, but I, I feel like, okay, if I have all this written down, then I get it. Does that make sense? I hope so. that makes sense. <laughs> Because sometimes I don't make sense. But, um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. So, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying it. It's just that there's a lot of training for, they have a lot of training for all sorts of different things. And it's not just one big, you know, one training class where, you go and do the training and then they put you to work. They want you to know what you're doing before you start. And, you know, I told them, you know, I you know, I let her know. I said, I might be a little slower than others because I've never done this type of, you know, I've never had this type of career before until now. I don't know diddly squat and I just don't. I want to make sure I get the right information and know what I'm doing before, you know, they throw me out there to the wolves to myself. And which, you know, we're never by ourselves, basically. So I kind of, I'm kind of taking it a little slower than everybody else. So that way I know what I'm doing. And she, um, She's like, no, that's, I get it. And I was like, good, because I don't, I don't want to feel like, she said, because others learn, you know, at a different pace than others. And, well, she's right. I mean, I'm going to try this one more time. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. I'll have to say this much. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying trying to learn everything. And, uh. I'm, you know, even though there's a lot to learn. Do I remember everything when I'm done? Not really, but that's why I have the notes. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. And, uh, I was supposed to go to a conference for work in Knoxville this weekend. I can't go. 
Not because I don't want to. It's just, there's just a lot going on around here. Me trying to do a whole bunch of stuff. And, yeah, there's just a lot to do. And I just don't feel like, not that I wouldn't, tr not that I wouldn't, you know, not saying I don't trust my kids. But it, I just, I feel weird when I leave like that. If I leave to go somewhere, I feel weird when, you know, they're gone. So, or when I'm gone and they're here. It's just, it just feels weird. Just me, I guess. Uh, let's see. I know y'all are like, this is a boring whip and chat. I'm trying not to be boring, I promise. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of everything that I uh, did this week. Now, I did tell you guys that I did, you know, have been reading and writing, you know, book reviews and um, writing my own book reviews. I am eventually going to start um, on the channel. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be every week or what. I haven't decided yet. But I will be doing, um, you know, videos about what I read and stuff. And... Uh, sharing that with you, but I want to kind of have, you know, books under. I, I said in the beginning I was going to do it every two weeks on Floss Tube, so I may just stick with that. I haven't got, I don't know. I have no clue. Now, I did know, I do know that I wanted to um, do something for Plan With Me's because uh, I know a lot of people can't afford to buy, you know, the Happy Planner and so forth. And I have found an alternative to that. I can't, I, and it's, I mean, it's not only if you can't afford one, but it's also if you don't feel like going out and buying, um, you know, a replacement and you like the cover that you have on your Happy Planner or whatever. And, um, yeah, I found a couple things, so I don't know if I'm, when I'm going to share that yet. I haven't really got that far yet. I'm just writing ideas down. I have all these ideas written down. It's just, some of them don't make it to the camera, so. Okay, uh, been stitching. Not a whole lot last week, well, no, yes. I did a big major stitching marathon on Saturday. I didn't stitch a whole lot the whole week. I don't know why. But uh, I did do a big, huge amount on Saturday. And I don't think I did any more after that. Did I do any more after that? Uh, let's see. Today is the 24th. Um, no. I did stitch on Saturday, and that was it. So, I need to get my button gear. And it's not because I don't want to. It's just, I don't know what the deal is. I have no clue. I, I, get, I, I don't know. And the only time I really, really do any stitching is when I am with, you know, in Zoom with uh, my cross stitch friends and that's really it which you know okay but uh no that's really the only time that i have been stitching lately is when i'm in zoom with them and yeah um let's see so but i'm trying to fix that let's see Sunday, um, Sunday, 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 and really nothing happened Sunday. Now, to yesterday, mm, what's today, Tuesday? Today, Tuesday, yes. Yesterday, um, what happened yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Oh, yesterday, uh, while I was in Zoom, I started studying some on my um, 
on my uh, on the portion of the test that I need to retake and um, organized my work planner and then organized my stitching notebook that I use that I keep to uh, you know keep all my all my other stuff in it not what I stitch you know not how many stitches I have done or anything like that but like um, what um, really just really um, like the projects and so forth and what each one is and all that good junk and uh, so I organized that yesterday and then I then oh my god my poor printer all right y'all my printer refused kept telling me it was out of paper and I was like it's not out of paper I have you know I had this big stack in the in the tray and I couldn't get it to work I was like this is not funny because I was trying to print off um, some things I needed for work and I was getting really really you know irritated ticked off or whatever and um, everybody was like what's wrong and I said my printers telling me it's out of paper and I said but there's paper and it's really ticking me off so what I ended up doing was troubleshooting now please tell me as soon as I, please tell me why as soon as I started troubleshooting it worked it started printing I mean really I, I was just like you're kidding me right so yeah I wasn't happy I was like no you cannot do this you cannot sit here and as soon as I start you know hit the troubleshoot button on the in my settings it starts printing and I was like uh-uh no no so then I think the other thing I figured out was I'm on the because HP has this you know every month thing where you can print and you only pay a certain amount and it's not the payments not due till September but apparently the pages that I'm allowed to print or that I, I don't ask me how it works but yeah, I mean anybody who has this knows how it works so apparently I went over the pages that I can print I was of course I didn't know that until earlier when I was looking up my um, looking up on my computer I thought okay mm -hmm. just not my day for this so yeah wasn't very happy but you know it is what it is and that's okay okay got some static drills just not what I need today mm. you can see that right <sighs> haven't had static key drills in a very long time I was kind of shocked when I when I realized that I had some static e drills, I was like, okay, this isn't funny. Hopefully, um, they don't, it's not like this the whole time, as you can see. Well, that's interesting. There you go. Look at that. Look, they're all attached. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> okay didn't see that yesterday when I was going through all the drills or yeah Sunday when I was going through all the drills to kit it up Wow alrighty now that's a new one so anyway so yeah I had fun yesterday with a printer that wanted to be ridiculous and tried to it tried my last nerve I wasn't a happy person and yeah so but and I, I looked right at my the lamp looked right at the printer and I said why just why 
would you start printing now after I hit the troubleshoot button? I mean, seriously. <laughs> but, oh well. Okay. Um, hmm. Trying to think what else has been going on. Oh, Justin went to a job fair today. He, uh, I forgot that he was going. And, of course, you know, those of you that know are that, anyway, he had a migraine for a couple of days. And I was kind of concerned for him yesterday, but he seemed to be okay. So I, uh, you know, didn't really kind of say anything. So he told me yesterday there was, was it yesterday? No, he told me Sunday, Sunday, Saturday or Sunday that, no, Sunday because he was feeling better. So he told me Sunday about the job fair. Now, he didn't tell me what time the job fair started. And it was around the corner at our grocery store, Food Lion. And I, you know, was like, okay. So, this morning, he didn't say anything. I just thought, okay, well, maybe he's not going. So, he goes back into does whatever he does in his room. And, and I say that lovingly. And, um, so he, uh, he comes back out about, um, 3.30, 4 o'clock. Looks at me and he says, um, Del Tar, you and I are going to the job fair. And I said, oh, you're going? He says, yeah. And I said, well, is it over? He said, no. I said, well, when does it end? It's 7 o'clock tonight. Okay. So, he goes, and again, this is like, you know, my third, fifth, sixth attempt to record. And he comes back, or he calls me, and he says, uh, I don't know if this is good news. Okay, what do you mean? They didn't say I got the job, but I'm supposed to get a phone call on Friday. Okay. Now, that being said, he there were three positions that he could apply for. And, you know, I... He didn't even tell me what he was applying for. He just told me he was going to go and apply, which, you know, that's fine. It is what it is so <laughs> they he comes back and I said well what were the positions one was stocking the other was um, cashier now the next one and maybe you guys can tell me what they call the people that do this you know how Walmart has the customer pickup where you can go and pick it up outside and or drive whatever it's called drive whatever it's called and you can go and just sit in the parking lot parking the parking space and they bring you your stuff well our food line is getting ready to start that and so you know he had the guy i guess the manager asked you know how to work apps blah 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 stuff like that and you know he said yes so i'm assuming that he will be, that's the position that, you know, he was interviewed for. And I said, well, when did, wait a minute, I'm confused. And Justin says, what? And I said, they're going to do this now? He said, yeah. There's a couple of other food lions here in town, because we have, like, you know, Shell Island in town. I mean, we have one, yeah, let's see, one, I'm going to tell you, one, two, three, I think there's three, 
I'm going to say three. One, two, three. I'm going to say three, okay, in Salisbury. So I was like, okay, the uh, one of them already does this. And I, you know, was like, oh, okay. And uh, he says, you know, and it's really not, you know, he, I, the guy explained, you know, the situation. I was like, okay. So he says, but we're supposed to get called back on Friday. Okay. Now, that being said, the last time that he applied for a job and they told him that, they would call back at a certain time the guy never called back and Justin did call them and nothing came of that so I told Justin I said I you know you are going to make sure that as soon as that deadline hits if it doesn't happen if they don't call you on Friday you need to pick up your phone on Monday and call them and he's like okay now he's he doesn't like doing that kind of thing he doesn't like calling and following up he he can't stand it it's this you just don't know it's one of those things where he's yeah he doesn't like doing that kind of thing and I told him I said I know you don't I said but you need to I said because I mean, he's, like I said, he does, he does do that, but of course, you know, he's been striking out all over the place and he's not thrilled. So he's, uh, we'll know Friday and I hopefully next week when I do whip and chat, I can tell you all that he got a job. So you all can see me jump up and down and do a happy dance. No, I will not do a happy dance. You will not see that. I promise. I don't want to embarrass myself and lose subscribers that way <laughs> I would I would never do that to you <laughs> but so yeah we will know I hope you know I'm keeping my fingers crossed he's um, getting really really frustrated because he's been trying to find something since you know school started and you know he's it's not he's not been lazy about it and he's been doing this since you know he graduated even before then and he's just been having a really 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 hard time finding something and um, I even you know told him yeah I even suggested him trying to find a legitimate place online for him to do game testing and so far he hasn't had any luck with that and um but I, I mean there's only so many things that you know he can find and it's it's really really hard for him and he wanted to do construction but um and I mean, he does have experience. He likes doing it, but nobody wants to um, hire him because he's not, as it, as he's been told, he's too skinny. And which I think is, you know, just really, really wrong. But it is what it is. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed. And, you know, you guys, please keep your yours, your fingers crossed and so forth. Because he's getting a little frustrated. So, anyway. Um, oh, my gosh. It's been an hour already. Holy crap. I didn't realize it has been an hour. When I, I'm going to tell you, lately, for the last couple uh, videos, I'll get up here and I start talking. I don't remember. I don't realize that it's been that way, that it's been an hour. Because, you know, I try to find things to talk about. Okay, so, 
Um, let's see. Bear with me. I got staticky drills. They're being a pain in my butt. Anyway, um, da 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 da. Let's see what else we got going on, people. Um, what color? Oh yes. Did you see what I did? I haven't finished kidding up yet, but I used my Zyron and see, I used my Zyron sticker maker. It's so easy. I didn't realize how easy it was. And I, it was funny because I was sitting here and I went to put this in the, in the, the slot to do it. And I'm sitting there going, how in the hell? do i do this oh yeah that was interesting you should have seen it because i was like okay i must really be this dumb if i can't even figure out how it works it's so easy it's stupid but that's okay we are good with that so now i need to find this color because i did haven't like i said i haven't finished kidding up yet and, um, um, did I not, did I not, really, did I not grab this collar? <laughs> oh my God, people. I did not grab this collar. Okay, we'll go for a different color and I'll have to find it for later. Um... I told you I'm going to kid it up all the way. What is... What is number two? Number two. There it is. Okay. Now, I know. I, I started all... Mm. I'm doing everything halfway. I'm sorry. I just haven't finished kidding up. I got to finish, find, get some more, um, find some more of my um, containers and then put them in here. And then we will be set. We will be set. So, now see, there is some confetti here, but I don't think there's, I don't think it's going to be um, really, really that bad. It doesn't look that way. I'm looking at it and it's not it's not that bad I'm I'm noticing it's not really as bad as I thought it was going to be not like Scorpio mind you I still will work on Scorpio I promise um, I will be doing that for uh, the um, true crime corner videos and um, it just it was just it was just, you have no idea. When you, when I, cross stitch, I, I'll try to explain it. When, I, or yeah, give you some idea what I've been going through. I, when I cross stitch and I have a spot on my cross stitch, like uh, recently, I, if it's confetti and I get, and I'm really, really frustrated with it, I won't, I'll just freaking say, you know what screw it and go to something else and or go to another part of the pattern and of course you know i could probably done that probably could have done that with uh scorpio but guys you gotta realize that thing is huge that thing is like massive that is one of the biggest paintings that i have ever ever worked on and I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to just like scream. And I, and it's not because I was bored with it. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't, I, I was enjoying it. It was just the confetti was driving me crazy. So after stitching on something on a section that's confetti and then coming over and working on that. Yeah. So. Now, mind you, yes, this is a little confetti because I, I, I see there's, it's a little bit, but it's not bad. It's not like, 
I'm taking one draw and then dumping out and putting it back in the container and then going to a different color. This is, yeah. But I know that probably sounded contradictory, but there's only so much I could deal with in one, on, in one thing. So anyway, so that's all I got for you guys. I don't have, you know, I have no funny stories. I promise. I thought I was going to have some funny stories, but little dude and, um, didn't goof up this week. So we're kind of, you know, no funny stories, but hopefully next week I'll have some funny little, you know, antidotes and you guys can, you know, laugh your butts off. So until then, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you for watching, um, and please, um, you know, if you like the video, please hit the like button, and if you're not subscribed, please, you know, subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. Oh, my.